MH370 disappearance, date 8 March 2014, midnight it's 12.45, the Malaysian plane getting ready for the departure was the plane called MH370, the plane consisted of 227 passengers, 10 cabin members, and 2 pilots, it was a normal passenger plane which was actively traveling normally, in daily life from Kuala Lumpur, to Beijing, and had a traveling time of 5 hours 30 minutes, but they wouldn't fill the fuel for that distance, they would also fill the fuel for extra 2 hours, to travel or back up like emergency situations to get solved, till that time there was no work for that extra fuel, but the flight, passengers or no one knew that there was a work for the extra fuel today. Now it's 12.45 exactly and the MH370 plane has got its clearance to fly its way then the flight now is flying slowly towards the atmosphere, and then the plane has even gone through a height of 35,000 FT, and the sight was clear, and the weather was also calm, and good to go, and even was a perfect condition, to fly the plane exactly, after one hour flying from Kuala Lumpur, of Malaysian territory now moves towards South China Sea region at that time there was an instruction called off from the Malaysian air traffic control which was nothing serious, the instruction was nothing, but was, after, a minute you are going to enter the Vietnam air traffic control so that we cannot give any instructions to fly the plane and for further instructions please contact the Vietnam air traffic control and good night after that the pilot also responds to the command and says good night dot so according to the Malaysian air traffic control within a minute from MH370 there should be a communication signal to the Vietnam air traffic control but even after four minutes there was no signal from the MH370 plane to the Vietnam air traffic control so from here from this minute the mystery starts to go on always at this time the Malaysian aeroplane would communicate to the Vietnam air traffic control but today it didn't so the Vietnam traffic control checked its radar weather that the MH370 signals but there were no signals captured about MH370 flight so the Vietnam Air Traffic Control tries to contact Malaysian Air Traffic Control that did the MH370 departure or not it did not get into a radar after hearing this the Malaysian Air Traffic Control got into a tremendous shock after hearing the news and replies no how is it possible within THS time the plane should have contacted your air traffic control and then the Malaysian Air Traffic Control tries to investigate about the MH370 plane and tries to analyze that whether due to some technical issue the plane had to return to Malaysian territory and tries to check into their radar even in the radar there was no signals got caught of the plane MH370 immediately they tried to check all countries radar network but there was no proof of the appearance of the MH370 plane the time is also running faster the end time of MH370 also ends at the next morning 6 30 a.m the time also keeps moving faster and the crew of the air traffic control announce officially that the planar flight MH370 has disappeared and the most cost to spend in search of a plane is slow begins from here 